come down toward me. <laughs> hey, good to see y'all again. I'm Lewis Floyd, a.k.a. the Jewish Prepper. Today I'd like to talk with you again about wild edibles. The picture that you see before us is uh, what is called the, wet, the wild wisteria vine. And what this is, there's certain parts of it that's edible and other parts that could be poison and could kill you. Today, we're taking this video, and just here recently, we had a frost that killed this beautiful plant. And what it is, I was able to find a piece here of what it actually looked like when it's hanging from the tree. Found this in the bushes right over there, the small vine of it and everything. And what this is called, wisteria. Most of the time it usually grows on the side of buildings, it will grow in houses, and sometimes it grows around up here when people twist it up, and some people actually twist it, and it'll grow up into like a tree or a bush. But see, with wisteria, what's good about it is, this is good for medicine. You can make medicine out of it, which my son could tell you about that. He took some that when my wife intentionally was trying to make jelly, and it didn't quite gel, and he had a a bad cough and a bad cold, he took it, and in less than three hours, he was up and running around like he took a miracle cure or something. But normally, these leaves here are the only part of the wisteria plant that's edible. And usually, this is all green, all green vines and everything. And these have, they're not really sweet, but they're not sour. They have a mild taste. And these right here would be good in salads. They would be good if you like fritters, you know, flour and making fritters and stuff like that. And they're really good in making jams and jellies. And my wife can attest to that. I just took, uh, took a few just to show you that they're edible. And lay this right back down there. See, this is one of the many gifts that God gives us this plant. That if you know what you're doing, you can use it to get food out of it. And here, around in here, we got wild chickweed growing right over there. And usually where there's one wild edible, there are other wild edibles too. Here, with Westeria, Westeria grows in two, basically two varieties, two colors. You have the violet color there, and then you have a white color variety. And I've tasted both types and they're both after you put them in your mouth and suck on them for a little while they come a little sweeter now like they are now and everything and stuff. But I hope this is valuable information for you and everything. Until the next time get out in the wild and try to enjoy some wild edibles and stuff like that. But if you don't know what you're doing get in touch with somebody that you know that is a botanist or somebody that knows a little information about wild edibles, or get you a book. There's many books out there today on wild edibles and everything that you can buy at many bookstores and everything. Well, until the next time, may God bless you, and I say shalom. Enjoy the journey. This is Louis Floyd, a.k.a. the Jewish Prepper. You got it?